What's up guys and gals, my name is Rick9G, thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be looking at Gilligan's Island. Also, don't forget to look at the end of the video where I will reveal the winner of the giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Now, if you're a big fan of the show, one of the most fun things to do is watch out for special guest stars or people that are really famous. We know that Zsa Zsa Gabor, Don Rickles, as well as many others came on the show as guests and then later left. Now the actors that I mentioned are pretty obvious to spot because they're very famous. But if you don't look closely, you would miss others who are in fact posing as natives. This is something that Sherwood Schwartz liked to do because you had to look a little bit harder to find. Now the ones that I do want to mention for this video in particular are athletes. Now I am not a huge fan of sports myself, but I know there are a lot of fans out there. And so I wanted to make this video for you guys and gals. Now I do want to get this out of the way and this is very important and that's that Sherwood Schwartz was really careful not to stereotype any individual who had specific roles in terms of putting them as natives. What he tried to do is put in different types of people. That's why a lot of people would say, well, how come you see this skin color in a native and this skin color, it's varied? Well, that was on purpose to be able not to stereotype anyone. So great for Sherwood. The first one I want to mention is Jim Lefebvre. Now, Jim Lefebvre was a major league baseball infielder for eight years and a manager for three different teams over six years. He also won the National League Rookie of the Year for the World Series champion Los Angeles Dodgers in 1965. Now, note that this show was filmed and located in the Los Angeles, California area, so that's where a lot of these athletes mostly come from. Now, Jim was one of the Kupakai headhunters who mistook Gilligan for the face on top of the sacred totem pole. Now for those that are also Dodger fans, I have another one for you, outfielder Al Ferrara. Now he was a screaming Koopa Kai in the same episode as well. Now Ferrara was Dodger of the Year in 1967 and also played for the San Diego Padres and the Cincinnati Reds. Now let's talk about basketball. Now if we look at the UCLA team under the coach of John Wooden, Walt Hazard can be spotted. Now he was there long before the Harlem Globetrotters were on the island with Gilligan in one of the Gilligan Island movies. Now Walt was an Air Force Lieutenant in one episode of Gilligan's Island making a short appearance. And my most favorite, the one that I enjoy, is Denny Miller. Now Denny Miller appeared in two Gilligan's Island episodes. He played basketball for UCLA and you might remember him as the beefy blonde surfer Duke Williams. He rode a tidal wave to the island. Now, Denny was also Tongo the Ape Man. He was an actor studying for a part in a jungle motion picture, who, of course, leaves the castaways behind. One of my favorite episodes of this season is when Gilligan's vision had been disoriented and he saw everything upside down. It's really funny, you should take a look at it. Now, if you look closely, you will notice the quarterback, Roman Gabriel. Now he's striped with grease paint and he's portraying a native in this episode as well. Now he played for the Los Angeles Rams and later for the Philadelphia Eagles. I want to finally reveal the winner of the Gilligan's Island season two DVD giveaway. I'm very excited to congratulate Paul S. I'll just say Paul S. Congratulations. Your DVD will be coming very, very soon. So look out in the mail. Thank you to all that participated. Don't forget that there will be more giveaways. I love to do giveaways. I do them in the community section of YouTube. I put them in the videos, but you always make sure if you participate in the giveaway to check back in the next video. So so if I have a giveaway in a particular video, don't forget to check back, especially in your comment to see if I responded back to you and answer me ASAP so that you can get your DVD as soon as possible. Thank you so much guys and gals for the love and support as always. We'll see you next time and don't forget, be hopeful.